guys, this is how to play Wish You Were Here by Pink Floyd. A fantastic song, perfect for electric or acoustic guitar. Um, we've got the melody at the start that I just demoed there and then a chord sequence for the verse. The tab and chord sequence uh, is all written down on the website. It's at andyguitar.co.uk. Uh, the second link in the description is where you wanna click and you'll see this video and the tab underneath so that both help each other for you to be able to follow what we're doing here. And there's also there an embedded uh, a fantastic acoustic version live by uh, Dave Gilmore and uh, a few other musicians, uh, not Pink Floyd, but the other musicians, that it's, it's really clear what we're going for here. Obviously, you can, you can see my demo and, and we'll talk you through everything, but in the original record, it's not as clear what's being played. It's kind of, it's very distant. It sounds like an old radio, I believe, is, is the intention of it. So click the link in the description for the website to see that video demo as well as the chord sheet and the lessons and everything that will uh, help you to play this. Uh, let's get you in for the close-up in this video now and check out how to play Wish You Were Here by Pink Floyd. Wish You Were Here by Pink Floyd. Let's look at it in the easiest way possible first for this intro. So we need to play it the first four, five notes actually, of the G major pentatonic scale. One, two, three, four, five. The G major pentatonic scale is in the link in the description in full, where we'll learn the full thing. Which if you've never... If you've never covered that before, that is the place to, to look at to get the underlying principles of this riff. But let's have a go at this together. Middle finger on the G note. Three, open two, open two. And then we would strum an E minor, but if we look at the basics of this, from there we just have four notes. So. That was two, up and down a string. Two, on the fourth string, open. One more time. The idea of playing the full version of this is we play that but keep the third and little finger down the whole time, so... When we play this, we can then strum an E minor 7 chord in between. And then we play the second part. And we strum a G chord in between that. that from this angle if we can see, it might be a little bit clearer. And if we, rather than doing one strum, we do a down, down, up, it fits with what the original is doing, we're kind of keeping the strumming going a little bit. So down, down, up. That is the more advanced version. Now you have those two options. On my website, by the following the link in the description, you'll see both ways tabbed. You'll see just the easy version. Just played like this. And also the more advanced version with the strumming of the chords in between. But for either version, after we've done that twice, we then play the same first section. But then it just comes down four notes from here. Two, zero, two, zero. So that would be in total. Two, zero, two, zero. And with the chords underneath, we keep these, these two fingers, third and little finger down the whole time. E minor. E 
it would be an A7 sus4, the Wonderwall chord. Wonderwall is also taught in my channel, uh, by the way. But that section, same at the start, E minor. One, two, three, four. Those notes were one, two, three, four. But we keep that third and little finger down. And we do that twice, so as a demo. Same again. And then we finish on a G chord. And after then the whole thing would repeat again and we have a guitar solo. That sort of thing happening over the top. Uh, we're not going to learn the solo in this section, we need to get this rhythm part learnt. Though I, if enough people show interest and you comment below and say, do the solo Andy, I will do the solo for you guys. Um, but let's have a recap of this. So, two options. If you're finding all this very difficult, you can go for this. No problem at all, but I'm going to play it with the chords as well, so that you can play along to me and you can see how to do the more full version of it. Let's play this together, guys. This would happen in two, three. Okay, so it's not a count of four at the start because it happens a little bit before the beat. The last note of the riff is actually on beat one. So from a G chord or from the main riff, in one, two, three. to the next part, same intro. This is where it changes. And then it's the G chord. Let's just do that one more time together. Two, three. And then a G. And then we're into the verse. So, so you think you can tell. That section, okay? And the strumming I was doing from the G chord is down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. And it is that strumming for each chord that's coming up, starting from a C to a D chord, A minor, and a G. From this point, you definitely want to be following that chord sequence, which is on my website. Link in the description, and it will be embedded underneath this video. We're going from the C chord, from so, so you think you can tell. Let's give it a go from the C chord, with down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up. Okay? If you really struggle with that, you can of course just strum four times on the beat. So you think you can tell Heaven from hell Blue skies from pain Just strum on the beat if you want. That's the underlying tempo that's happening in this song. But let's give it a go together from the C chord in two, three, four. So 
So you think you can be chords Two, oh, down, 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 up, A minor Two, three, G, two, D major C, down, 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 A minor And then a G And then that exact same chord sequence happens again, but with different words. So it's that sequence that you want to memorize or be comfortable reading and following. It was from a C chord. Uh, I'll sing it a little bit this time. I will do that strumming pattern in two, three, four. So, so you think you can tell heaven from hell. Skies from pain. Can you tell a green deep field from a cold steel rail? A smile from a veil. Do you think you can tell? Down, up, up, down, down, up, down. If you can't do it with that strumming, let's give it a go just strumming on the beat and I will sing again so that you know how the chords work with the lyrics. So you can follow the chord sheet. From a C chord, I'm going to play on the beat. You guys use whatever strumming is comfortable for you. Two, three, four. So, so you think you can tell Heaven from hell Blue skies from pain Can you tell a green field From a cold steel rail A smile from a veil Do you think you can tell? And then the exact same thing would happen again for the second verse uh, From a C chord Did they get you to trade? Heroes for ghosts Hot ashes for trees Hot air for a cool breeze Cold comfort for change Did you exchange A walk on part in the wall For a lead role in a cage That's where we would go back to the intro exactly as we did the first time through and there would be a guitar solo over that again but that's that's the structure of this intro those two verses back to the intro again and then just the the chord sequence that we've just done and it actually finishes on the riff as well which is nice you know you learn a riff and there's there's plenty of opportunity to play it in this song it's not like it just happens once at the start of the song in essence that is how to play wish you were here by pink floyd please check out those links in the description to the chords and the g major pentatonic scale really helpful thanks for checking out this video please subscribe if you like what i do and click in this area here to see some similar songs and over in that area see my full free beginners course available at andyguitar.co.uk we will have the book version coming out soon of this beginners course uh, in print format 91 pages to really help you guys take your playing up to a next level um, and that's everything from me take care of yourselves and bye for now